I know that when I was in the first conversation uh, with Obama very early on in the campaign, I had the opportunity to ask him a question, and I talked across the room. He was about over there, and I said, how are we going to talk about food and agriculture? And he said to me, um, I have read Michael Pollan's The Omnivore's Dilemma. He said, I don't know as much about food as I should know, but I know about the obesity epidemic in this country. And he began to cite all the statistics, and uh, he knew everything about that. And he talked about uh, farmers in the Midwest as well, with a lot of a lot of statistics and facts. I, you know, we didn't get into the conversation about the table, but I had met him one time before, and he was introduced. Um, I, I was introduced as uh, being involved with uh, the edible schoolyard, and he said to me. Didn't I read the article about you in the New York Times six months ago? And I said, yeah, I read that. So I know that he is paying attention in a certain way and has that, oh, and, and therefore we have that possibility of really offering him advice. I, I, I'm imagining a kitchen cabinet. That's what I meant. <laughs> a kitchen cabinet that we could help to advise him on the, the choice of the chef in the White House. Now, wouldn't this be a wonderful thing? This is a decision that they get to make completely themselves. But if you have somebody inside who is thinking about these ideas. Maybe it should be you for a year. <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're all, well, we're behind this. We're really thinking about this, and we're all prepared to go. It certainly does seem <laughs> absolutely <laughs> sensible to have a president's advisory on, on food and nutrition, well, right? I, I think so. I think it's vital. And we could begin, um, you know, right there, buying the food that's grown in and around Washington, taking the ideas of Jefferson, taking that garden that he had. Ultimately, maybe there'd be a possibility of planting a garden on the White House lawn and having press conferences at the compost heap. What do you think? <laughs> now, I, 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 I've joked about that. I've written a lot of letters because I, 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 I think we need that national symbol of, of, uh, of priority of stewardship and nourishment and and the, the, the communication at the table, it's like the bottom line. And we all eat every day, or most of us, the lucky ones, get to eat every day. And this is a way, I mean, it's through public education that we could feed every child in the country. Every child could eat at school. And something that's nourishing. And so we have to talk about food as a right and not a privilege. And that's what he could talk about. And I don't want to get it too complicated with any kind of celebrity. Celebrity chefs or any kind of that uh, feeling of elitism.